Hey, this video is going to show you how to pull Buffalo, a class 3 ship. What really helps here is uh, on the grapple. We have extra tethers, 15 tethers. Uh, that'll save us a trip back to the hard jack to, to fill up on tethers. Also, helmet. If we have this first helmet upgrade that gives plus 100 oxygen, that's going to mean we only have to fill up on oxygen once in our 15 minute um, work time. So, we're going to go to start shift. We're going to find a ship to, to salvage. We're going to go to class 3. Now, uh, there's a number of ones here, right? They, they start to get a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's pick one. Let's pick a mackerel. They're all mackerels. Um, and this one is the highest value, so we'll give it a, give it a go. We're going to start. We're going to make a beeline. down to this ship. Now, these class three ships uh, need a fair bit amount of work inside before we can start taking things apart on the outside. We see a, you know, an antenna. We're gonna grab that while we're out here. And then the first thing we're gonna do is make a beeline for that uh, airlock. Secured. Credits deposited. There it is. Activate this airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Head on in. First thing we're gonna do is depressurize this airlock cabin. Pressure levels increasing. Because our goal is gonna be to get inside here and start. Uh, there we go. Start cutting everything Air open. Pressure level decreasing. Okay. Make sure this door opens and that it is also depressurized before you start cutting. Grab any of these goodies we want. We do have an oxygen tank there. We're gonna have to go back for uh, grapples anyway. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna release this reactor. We're gonna use the cutter head. The cutter head makes shorter work of these uh, pinch points, cut points. Uh, then does the stinger. So we're gonna use those. We're gonna use our body to push this out of the way gonna send it straight into the processor then we're gonna use another grapple to take this reactor down to the barge this top part we're gonna send off to the processor as well all that can be processed all right these class 3 ships oops, have this uh, emergency override but want to disable these fuel lines in the walls before you do it. I like this diamond pattern because it avoids some of the structural elements in there. We're just going to try and get these out of the way. They won't go any place too exotic. Just don't want to have to worry about them. Okay. So, we're going to cut all four attachment points. There we go. All right, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna shut off this fuel valve, prevent explosions. And the second thing we have to do, we have to detach this fuel tank. This fuel tank actually attaches, uh, holds this uh, uh, rear end of the ship to the rest of the ship. So the rear end of the ship won't come off until we detach that. Did you notice that, how it rotated? Now that we've gotten rid of both those fuel tanks, this rear end of the ship is detached from the rest of the ship. We're going to start salvaging it. Hit that emergency cutoff. On these class 2 ships, be aware that there's a cut point right here. You can't just pull it off like on the class 2 ships. So we cut that. That releases the thruster cap. We're going to send that off to processing. Good hit. We're going to bring this uh, thruster out. Now the rear end of the ship is free. We're going to get rid of the nacelles first just so it doesn't collide and cause a problem. So these nacelles on the class threes are held in place by two cut points inside the wall. You get those. All right. Now our nacelle is released. 
whether it's the single nacelle or double nacelle, they're both they both just have those two attachment points inside the walls. Okay. The nacelles are on their way. Now the rear end of this, this is free and all this can be processed. So I'm just gonna put a few tethers in. It'll get maybe help it along for just a second with my grappler, but it will make its way there. Alright, now these two interior walls are cleared out. So we have good access now. So now's the time. We're gonna take these fuel tanks out. Get that to the barge. We don't want those exploding on us. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. There we go. These two wall panels we cut out before, we can get to the furnace. There we go. All right, now we're in the walls. This is the airlock wall. Be really careful using this cutter saw. This cutter saw makes short work of all these attachment points. But you can very easily pierce this airlock, and this airlock stays pressurized. Be very careful of the airlock as well as any coolant tanks that may or may not be in the area. Alright, now all these attachment points should be cut. Did I get them all? And we can start separating this piece by pushing on it. I missed something somewhere. in the wall. There we go. We'll come back to that piece in just a moment. There's the utility key inside. Alright. Now on these class 3 ships, uh, it's worth your while to make these grapple attachments on the structural pieces because these panels will pull off. So you want to hit those structural pieces. For these with the panels, make sure you hit it on the corner of that structural element, not on the face of the panel. Pull all that away. Same thing with these. I don't want to hit it on this panel or on the nanocarbon panel. I'm going to hit it just on the corner of that structural piece. I'm going to pull that whole thing away. Oop, they went even though too much. We lost our grapple. Alright, so that should be good now. That's one side of the ship. You can go ahead and... Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Cut. This is our last tether. Warning. Oh, no. Nice. That piece is pretty light. It can go one in. Now we're low on oxygen. Now we're out of tethers, so we're going to head back to the hard jack. Master jack. I'm going to fill up on both. Oxygen and tethers. Ready to go back. Alright. Now we're going to go back into the other side of the ship. Get rid of those side panels. No airlock on this side to contend with, so it should go a little faster. Again, we're going to use a saw head because a saw head lets us cut multiple attachment points in one go uh, and makes short work of it. You want to be very careful not to pierce any coolant tanks, though. Um, or any. Uh, of the uh, power cells. Coolant tank up here, I'm gonna be very careful with. I'm gonna switch to my stinger head. Just to take extra care. I don't want this beam to go anywhere near that coolant tank. That coolant tank loves to explode on you. All right, now we're out of the ship. Again, I'm gonna look for structural elements to attach to and send all these to the processor. these sides especially I'm gonna specifically avoid uh oh I'm gonna specifically avoid um, attaching to the panels as long as we get somewhere close enough to the processor the processor has its own little pull that will pull this stuff in all right again go for the structural element that's good enough. It will get pulled in no problem. Now we have some mechanicals, electrics. Get rid of this power cell. 
send it down to the barge. That coolant tank decided it had enough. Salvage Farewell, secured. cool world. Alright. Didn't miss any coolant over here. Is there a coolant up here? Yes, there's a coolant tank here. Alright. So now we've got everything off the outside of the ship. Salvage now we're going to go on the inside. And we're going to start working on... Go. We're going to start working on the interior uh, furniture panel. So we're going to again use our cut saw. It goes a little faster. We're going to cut open. All of these. Set ourselves on fire. Alright, we're going to push that out of our way with our body. Now all these four sections can go to the Cutter, there's processor. Five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting good. We wrap. Same thing for the ceiling elements. Now all these ceiling elements are detached. I'm going to send them to the processor. This uh, one in the front, though, is a cargo hatch. So I'm going to be careful to send that down to the barge instead of the processor. Processing valuable objects. All right. Credit now we've detached this. Now we've got a nice open floor. This stuff just goes to the barge anyway. We can send it on down. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Power junction box. Set it on down. Aggravating. And any of these mechanicals. So the door switches. Um, for the airlock and the cockpit. As well as the air handler above the cockpit. Above the airlock door. Alright. We've got that separated. I'm going to go around to the other side of the... Airlock. Open the airlock door. So we can send that out. There we go. All the mechanicals. Now, the back end of this ship is pretty much all aluminum. I'm going to cut these four points right here. I'm going to use feathers from the rear end to pull this piece into the furnace. Once it gets close enough, the furnace has its own puller that will take over. Waiting for this to get out of the way. The airlock has some nano carbon on it that we're going to miss here, but got much more aluminum so I usually send that piece to the furnace. I'm gonna get the air handler inside, we're gonna get the furniture. Salvage secured. Get these Credit chairs deposited. out. The chairs are important to get out because they uh, help you get everything else out. More so than the value in them elves. The Still going, I'm going to give it another couple little pushes. I might need to go get some more grapples here and just... Got this computer coming out. Computers can electrocute you. Careful. There's also perhaps a... Uh... Salvage secured. Account credit applied. An electric junction box in there. Don't see over there. Credits deposited. Don't see one over there, so I'm gonna just get the computers and oh. salvage secured. Account credit applied. Okay. I'm gonna send that in. Warning. I've got about a minute left. There are four storage things in there. If I was a little quicker, I could have got the, uh... 
the value of the of the cockpit of all the nanocarbon and stuff in there far out far outweighs the value of the uh, far outweighs the value of the uh, of the storage bin. So I'm gonna get this going over. If I can get one or two of these storage bins out, great. But I want to make sure that we get this in before time runs out. Oh, come out. Nope. We got all the electronics. I want to make sure that this guy gets Deposit in. And it is getting pulled in. Alright. That's it. That's the whole buffalo. We missed four. Um, missed four of those uh, forge containers inside. Oh, pretty good. All right, results, 2 million credits. What did we miss? Missed a door, we didn't get the doors. Missed a door console someplace. Missed the storage bins, the glass, the aluminum. Uh, but most of it, how much scrap titanium? Destroyed about a thousand kilograms of, of titanium. We recovered 2,000 plus 400. So, 4,500 kilograms of titanium. We missed uh, 1,000 kilograms of aluminum plus, yep, just 1,000 kilograms of aluminum. But we salvaged uh, over 6,000. So, we missed about 15%. Nanocarbon, there's always a lot of. Missed 600 kilograms of nanocarbon plus 800. We missed uh, 1,400 kilograms of nanocarbon, but we saved well over 22,000. So, pretty good. That's the whole Buffalo on a Class 3 ship.